Welcome to the Daily Word for Pentecost. Today's reading is from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 4 to 11. Such is the confidence that we have through Christ towards God. Not that we are competent of ourselves to claim anything as coming from us. Our competence is from God, who has made us competent to be ministers of a new covenant, not of letter, but of spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Now if the ministry of death, chiselled in letters on stone tablets, came in glory so that the people of Israel could not gaze at Moses' face because of the glory of his face, a glory now set aside, how much more will the ministry of the Spirit come in glory? For if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, much more does the ministry of justification abound in glory. Indeed, what once had glory has lost its glory because of the greater glory. For if what was set aside came through glory, much more has the permanence come in glory. This is the word of the Lord. The Holy Spirit makes people live. In verse 3 of this chapter, Paul says the Corinthians are a living letter of Christ, of which the fruits do not depend on themselves, but came from God. And the confidence that they have comes through Christ. All efforts, achievements, and even failure are in God's grace. Christians have to participate in God's plan actively, work with God, live happily and diligently. But they must not forget, all things come from the Lord, and always give thanks to God's grace and ascribe the glory to God. Paul continues by comparing the Old and New Covenants. He mentions that the Old Covenant was mere words, which Moses delivered to the people and which they promised to follow. This covenant was written on tablets of stone, while the New Covenant is of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives people life. Such covenant is within the soul. When people are inspired and changed by the Holy Spirit, they will truly obey the New Covenant. The Old Covenant was external and demanded obedience, while the New Covenant is of the Spirit and obedience comes willingly. The Old Covenant consisted of written standards to bind together the relationship between people and God. If people sinned, they were judged by God for lack of obedience. Therefore the Old Covenant would lead people to death, for it was too difficult for people to keep the law completely only to be condemned, verse 9, and die. However, the new covenant is profoundly different. It comes from God the Holy Spirit. God is love, and those in the new covenant are in the love of God. Within the intimate relationship of father and child, people who believe are not condemned, but are considered children of God. Even when rebellious, they are still God's children. The Holy Spirit changes people's hearts, gives people strength and wisdom, helps people to love the Lord and obey his commandments. God does not want any to perish, so he gave his only son Jesus to save all people and give people new lives. Paul was prompting Christians to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. While Moses was reading the Ten Commandments to the Israelites, his face shone with glory and people could not look upon him. But such glory was temporary. However, the new covenant of the Holy Spirit, which brings an intimate relationship with the everlasting God and the love of Jesus Christ, that glory is everlasting, stronger, more energetic. While the old covenant led people to condemnation, how much more glorious is the new covenant which leads to salvation? The glory of the old covenant was fading. The glory of the new covenant is permanent. Therefore we have to thank God indeed and treasure the grace from God. In the time of the new covenant which the Lord Jesus brought to us in person, 
We should learn and accept the teaching of our Lord Jesus earnestly and sincerely, receive the grace and power of the Holy Spirit, be good ministers of the new covenant, serve the Lord and people around us with respect, and love the Lord. God will protect us, save us from evil, and lead us to eternal life. Let's have a time of reflection. What is the difference between the old covenant that God made with people and the new covenant that he made with us? How should we be ministers of the new covenant? Have you ever felt the joy of God's company while you are lovingly serving in the ministry of God the Holy Spirit? Let us pray. May the Lord the Holy Spirit fill my heart, bless me to serve with love, make me live an energetic life that shines with the glory of Christ, inspire others to know and believe in God. Glory to the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.